Hey there, how's it going fellow gamers? It's Under915 here, bringing some gameplay on Ghost Team Deathmatch. You know what this game is, guys. And I want to hit something. The name of my channel is called Irrationally Average Gamers. And when I say irrationally, it's because the... Sorry if you can hear my kid in the background screaming, but he's watching movies. Well, I'm doing this. Anyways, guys, Irrationally Average Gamers is just... It was started with myself and a couple of other buddies, you know, we're all we're all married, we have kids, you know, we play when we can, we play when we get a chance to. I mean, you're never old enough to play games and that's my thing. I, I love playing games. Do what you love, do what, do what makes you happy. And um, when I say average, uh, I'd like to think I'm a little above average on Call of Duty on FPS at least. I'd like to think that my reactions are good enough or, you know, that's why I do this kind of thing. Um, I don't really suck. Otherwise, I wouldn't be posting videos of me going like 3 and 20 or something like that. At least average. I'm not a pro. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, guys, getting away from that. In this gameplay, you do see I'm using the MTAR. And I, I don't think I've ever uploaded a gameplay with MTAR on Ghost. And that's not much... That's not me much saying... Me much saying... You know what? Screw the English. That's not saying much. Sorry. <laughs> Because I don't upload that much gameplay on Ghost, so therefore the fact that I'm using the MTAR right now isn't a big old surprise. Because I mean, well, shit, you gotta use all the weapons, right? At first, I did not like the MTAR. The MTAR seemed like a really sensitive assault rifle to me, kind of thing. Like, it, yeah, it's awesome at killing close range and everything, but it is a weapon that you have to get used to. And I'm telling you right now, if you do not know how to use the MTAR, if you think it's a little too uncontrollable for you, play a few games. Go into cranked. Get used to it when it's high speed and everything, and then just jump back into a regular domination. Get jumped at, jump back into kill confirm team deathmatch, and it's going to seem so much more controllable. And the reason the MTAR is so beastly is because it can kill enemies so fast. It has, a, it, it can kill so fast at close range, and if you know how to use it at a distance, again knowing how to control the weapon, it kills at a distance just as good as some assault rifles not as good as others I mean you gotta know when to back out and not get into fights but anyways guys getting away from the game uh, getting away from the gun I am using the specialist class and I am using I'm gonna point out only two of this two of the uh, only one sorry one of the perks that I am using I mean everything else is like pretty simplified the speed perks the marathon agility so forth blah 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 um, I use Blast Shield instead of Sit Rep. Why do I use Blast Shield instead of Sit Rep? Sit Rep can give you awareness of where the team, where the team, where the enemy is going to be, and therefore you can kind of try to sneak up on them. But I don't really like it because Sit Rep you can still get cooked. You can still get cooked. <laughs> you can still get killed by cooked grenades. Man, my English is all. It's, my English is horrible. I should just restart, shouldn't I? Hit the restart button and learn how to go speak English and then come back in a few years. No, I know how to speak English. I'm kidding. I am bilingual. That's probably why I'm having such trouble sometimes doing commentaries. I never really learned how to speak English or Spanish. Therefore, I am troubled. I am lost in the world, not knowing what to say. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back on subject. I prefer Blast Shield because I can take random grenades, I can take C4s, and at the same time, I don't have to worry about IEDs that much. And going into IEDs, I'm just I'm rolling down the subjects. My top four ways of dying, and if I'm sorry, I apologize if I'm all over on this commentary. I just um, probably going to be uploading a lot of Titanfall or like other gameplays as soon as I get a chance. I don't upload that often, if you all know, or my subscribers, my the people that do watch me. Yay, I got a cam. I'm pretty sure you already, knew, you already knew I was going to get a cam by the title of the video. Anyways, top four ways I hate dying on Call of Duty Ghost. IED. It's a preloaded C4. It's bullshit. There's no direction on it. It's not a... It's, it's not a... Sorry, C4? Yeah. It's not directional like a Claymore, and you can't duck it like a Bouncing Betty. It's just a preloaded C4. That's bullshit. Why would you do that? It's like a grenade that's ready to go off. My second way I hate dying is... Oh, I already know. Yeah. Mm, panic knifing? Alright, panic knifing, I understand it. It's a knife. You, you can use it in the game, obviously. But the animation's broken on the panic knife. I mean, it's... 
sometimes <sighs> excuse me guys sometimes when you're behind the enemy and you're, you're sitting behind him he's looking the other way but even if in his screen and his pervert peripherals peripherals <laughs> he's got a little bit of angle on you he can hit that panic knife you see me spinning because i'm upset you hit that panic knife and it will turn you to him and turn him to you and therefore you got the knife and that's what i mean by the animation's kind of broken on panic knife it's it's very it's rather frustrating and the third way is quick scoping quick scoping of course everybody hates quick scoping cuz uh and the, you know what i'd rather have a sniper that camps in a corner and try and just tries to hold that spot instead of quick scoping cuz sometimes you look at the kill feed and that them damn those fucking crosshairs are nowhere on you it's like two feet away to your right but yet it's it kills you it's ridiculous and then the last one is shotgun bam i just got killed by it right there right i was pre-firing him and everything but you know what it, all, all it takes is a little bit and that's a noob tactic i know shotguns are in the are in the game they're for close quarters or whatever I probably shouldn't put that in my top four, but I just don't like shotguns. I've never liked shotguns, so therefore I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, in this gameplay, I did get a cam, and there it is. I called it in. Thank you. Good job. But in previous gameplays where I have gotten a cam strike, I usually tell you guys to use a silencer. But and I just love it right there in the in the feed that you just saw, or in the video. It looks like the cam strike killed me too, but it didn't. It was just another damn IED. It, out of the top four things in this game, three of them got me in this game so many times. And I love this part too. I actually put my controller down because I thought the game was over. I was not paying attention to the score. So therefore, I thought the game was over. I was like, oh, la -da, yay, I got a cam strike, yay. I never get cam strikes. I've gotten a few before. Now I can go and show my friends. And then when I look back at the screen, I'm like, holy shit, the game isn't over. And then I get killed again. But, I mean, that's my own stupid fault. Anyways, guys. God damn, I was all over the place on this gameplay, huh? Or commentary. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little rant I went on and, you know, whatever I was talking about. And I hope you guys enjoyed my future videos. I hope you guys subscribe. Leave a comment. You know, give me suggestions. Hey, t tell me, you suck, man. Like, be a little more focused or, you know, put up other gameplays where you're just rushing. I don't know. Just tell me whatever you want. Criticism. Anything. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.